what's up everybody welcome to day 20 of 31 and 31 and uh this this is a movie that um i haven't really i think i've talked about just on like maybe like a mini episode or just like slightly nothing like really intensely i don't believe i went and looked through this stuff and maybe i did maybe i didn't but uh today i want to talk about the color out of space uh and if i have talked about this before um I would say that my opinions probably don't change about this movie because it is a really good movie. And I think it's a really good introduction to Lovecraft for like a modern era. If nobody, you know, if you're interested in kind of getting into it, there's, I would definitely say there's like two series that, or two things that all, I think they both actually came out about the same time uh, that you should do, like you should watch just to get like a modern interpretation of it just in general one would be this movie which is the color out of space and the other one is lovecraft country uh while it's not a hundred percent lovecraftian it still can get you interested in the world and have a little more of a modern take on everything but i definitely think the better of the two to get into it is definitely the color out of space plus you get some ridiculous cage in it so why not you know and this is part of like Nick Cage's like renaissance of sorts back in 2018 where he was kind of coming back into the public eye in terms of movies and better movies than what he had been doing where it was a lot of just kind of like crappy stuff that, that was out there so it it definitely he definitely gets in some of that overacting that you know Nick Cage for but it really fits uh especially the fact that he's so obsessed with alpacas but just in general there's some really disturbing scenes in this movie uh the mother and her son, for example. Uh, if you know what that is, if you've seen this movie before, that is a uh, is a crazy scene for everything that's there. Um, but it, just in general, like, it's a fun movie. It does move a little bit slow. I think at times it can be a little bit slow, but it does a good job with its atmosphere, its tension in the scenes. And when it does kind of start to pick up, and it's not kind of silly in, in the Nicolas Cage stuff that's there. It's really good. And I I just, I wish we had more. Now, this was supposed to be the start of a trilogy. And I don't know if the other movies have even been, like, decided upon or had even, like, started to, like, be in production or anything. I'm not sure what. And, and the director that did this movie, the, his name escapes me. This was, like, his return back to directing. And it's actually a pretty amazing job it's still available on shutter so if you haven't seen it go watch it it's definitely worth your time i you know like i said there's some there's some great like like body horror type things that are a little practical and then there's a lot of like little cgi things that happen in there but everything seems to fit relatively well and it does a good job with the story and especially to making it more in the modern era and you know you say 2018 but that's still relatively modern uh, but Instead of it being, you know, the, them going traditional and putting it back. And yeah, it does make a couple of different changes to the original source material story. But I really like the way this is done. Like I said, maybe a little slow, but I think overall the pacing is really good. I think that the acting is pretty well done. And, you know, it's it's not enough Ridiculous Cage uh, to be like, oh, it's going to really uh, ruin parts of the movie or just be over the top and make it really silly. I think it really fits just because of the way that he acts and how he kind of descends as he's being affected by the color and everything that's there. Um, I love the scene with him, like, in, in the kitchen, not in the kitchen, in the living room as he's watching his news report about him and him complaining about how he's being portrayed on there. Like, it's it's a silly thing for whatever else is going on that in that scene for him to be just so focused on that. Um, and, of course, the alpacas. Uh, but, yeah, so... If you haven't seen The Color Out of Space, you, you should be watching that movie. I'm 100% certain that you'd enjoy it, especially if you enjoy Lovecraft or if you're interested in Lovecraft and you just want to get into it. So, yeah, I'd give this a solid four out of five alpacas. It, well, technically, there's only three, but, you know, we're going to add one. Uh, but, yeah, so if you haven't seen it yet, go see it, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm always 31 31s. All right, bye, guys. Mm -hmm.